Hi everyone, I'm Ralu and welcome to today's video. I went shopping online on FragranceNet and FragranceX and I got some goodies, some perfumes and I thought today I would do a video, a whole video and I'll show you what I got from this both companies. I've been shopping with FragranceNet for a long time but FragranceX was my first order and here's what I got. I was really excited to place an order with them. There were a few perfume samples that I've been wanting to try. Uh, actually, I've been wanting to buy the perfume, but I've never smelled it, so it's kind of expensive, so I didn't want to blind buy it. I was really happy to see they had samples for this particular for, uh, particular fragrances, and um, that's why I placed the order with them. But I did get uh, a couple of perfumes, and uh, full size, and I wanted to show them to you. The first one is this one. This one is by Adidas and it's uh, Get Ready For Her. This is what the box looks like and this is the perfume. I've heard about it from Sarah Mayers. I believe her name here on YouTube and she does a lot of perfumes. And um, you know guys, I really like perfumes and lipsticks. This is my jam. I love the beauty world but perfumes and lipsticks gotta be what I love the most. Uh, I love eyeshadows too but not as much as lipsticks. <laughs> All right, so this one is an Eau de Toilette. It's uh, Get Ready by Adidas. And I have some strips over here. My uh, darling husband, Rainy, uh, cut them all up for me. I like the bottle of this one. It's got a, a, an, an orange um, cap over here. So let's see how this one smells. This one uh, had a watermelon note. And the reason I got it is because I thought it'd be good for summer. Oh, wow, that's nice. That is so nice. It's kind of aqua, aquatic watermelon type of scent. Oh, that smells really, really good. What a surprise. Uh, Sarah got a bunch of these um, Adidas perfumes. And um, uh, this is the one that she liked the best. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. I really, really like this one. I think I'm going to really enjoy it um, in the summer months. So, very, very cool. The next perfume, also from Fragrance X, is this one. Uh, this one is a, what is it, a tester. It came just like this. It's called Lulu Guinness. Lulu Guinness also... Uh, I found out about it from Sarah Mayers and um, one of her subscribers swears by it and recommended it to her and so of course I had to have it too. So let me spray on for this one. Wow, this one was very affordable. I believe it was around the range of $253 and it's so cute. I love the bottle. Okay, this is definitely a very springy fragrance. I can smell lots of lily of the valley. Wow. Wow, that's nice. It doesn't smell cheap spring fragrance. It smells complex. It smells really, really cool. In the meantime, my battery dies, so here I am again. So what I was saying is the reason that I placed the order with this company is because it, it has a, it had a couple of samples of some expensive perfumes that I've been you know wanting to get. And one of them is this one. This is Quelque Fleur uh, by Hubigon Perry. And uh, here, here, here's the sample inside. It's a perfume that caught my eye simply because I've heard that this is the perfume that uh, Lady Diana wear on her wedding day. And so I, of course, uh, you know, I, just curiosity wanting to to see what did Lady Diana's, uh, uh, yeah, were on her wedding day and what, what it smells like. So let's see. Mm. It's a it's a really pretty floral, a very mature floral, I would say. Very uh very florally kind of uh it kind of has a vintage vibe, I would say. But it's nice. Um, I can't wait to try it on my skin because, you know, everybody um, wears perfume differently. Somebody might love it. Somebody might not like it. And um, But I'm really happy to get this one. Uh, 
And then the next one that I had my eye on for the longest time is uh, from the House of Creed. And uh, I was pretty impressed with how this sample showed up. Uh, it's a little bit about the history. Put the light back on me. <laughs> there are two perfumes that I want to try from the House of Creed. Uh, this one is Spring Flower. And uh, then there's another one I believe it's called Love and White. And I really want to try that one. Uh, wow, this house started in 1760 um, by uh, James Creed and Olivier Creed. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see if I like this uh, sample. Okay, this is really, really cool. I didn't think it'd be that way. I thought it would be just a plain bottle no, like the other one, but... Uh, clearly, they take pride in uh, what they do, so kind of hard to open this one. Oh, wow, I really like it. Oof. My wallet just started crying because I think I'm going to get this one. I don't know how it's going to wear on my skin, but it smells very like spring on a bottle. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh my gosh. This is very nice. I also bought another perfume, by the way. Um, Jennifer Lopez. Um, something uh, from Jennifer Lopez. But there was something off of this fragrance. So I sent it back. Customer service exceptional, by the way. Uh, on both companies. I sent one back to on, on each company. And... Um, no problems at all. They're very, very good about that. Uh, Fragrance Net and Fragrance X. Very communicative, so I would confidently buy some more from them for sure. Okay, so moving on, this is from Fragrance Net now. So uh, let me show you what I got. Well, while opening the box, they sent us, uh, they only sent a perfume sample. And this one is exceptional because you are exceptional you are exceptional yes you are it kind of smells unisex to me i don't know we'll see how it is we'll see how it is okay so the first fragrance i want to show you from fragrance and that is this one this one is called a clap to fleur uh by lenven absolutely adore the bottle this is a tester i didn't buy the full the full size this is the full size but it's a tester and uh i've heard from angela deboer angela has a youtube channel only about the perfumes and she i love how she describes them and she was saying that this is a pretty close to uh to chanel or tundra and uh let's see this has um Oh, I like how the notes of the perfumes are listed here. So what do we got? Uh, top, pear, heart notes, fragia and rose, base notes, sandalwood, white musk. Ooh, oh my God, it really is. It really, really is. I don't know how the dry down is going to be, but the first spray is like... Hands down. You were right, Angela. You are so right. One fragrance that I couldn't find it in TJ Maxx's. Actually, two of them I got from Calvin Klein. And this one is Escape. There was no way I could find this in TJ Maxx. Neither one of these two that I bought from Calvin Klein. So this is a, a Eau de Parfum. And uh, a lot of people were comparing it to Elizabeth Arden Flowers. This, uh, this is uh, the Escape, Calvin Klein Escape, and uh, couldn't help myself, sprayed this one already, but I could tell you, it is fabulous. It is truly, truly fabulous. Super, super aquatic. Wow. I Yeah. It's gorgeous. Uh, it does smell like uh, Elizabeth Arden sunflowers uh, initially, but the dry down later on both of them is different. 
I actually really like this one. I, I have the other one, but I prefer this one. Super, super cool fragrance for summertime, for sure. It's got a little bit of sweetness because it has melon on, on the top note of beginning. Oh, I'm in love with this. This could be, and the winner goes too, <laughs> uh, perfect fragrance for summer. Definitely wins an Oscar for the. <laughs> for the perfect fragrance for summer. Uh, the next one also, like I said, Calvin Klein, and it was uh, recommended by a friend. This one's called Truth. Look at this ginormous box. Okay, Truth by Calvin Klein, and uh, equally as ginormous bottle. I don't wanna blind you with the mirror, but this is Truth by Calvin Klein. Let's see. very nice you know i have quite a few perfumes uh from this brand uh, calvin klein i like them i usually like them the first the first spray is, is kind of in your face a little bit it you know what it reminds me of i don't know if it has that in a in one of the notes but it kind of smells a little bit like the clove flower do you know what the clove flower looks like? It smells kind of like that. Yeah, I'm very curious about this fragrance because uh, I want to know how the dry down is because at first spray, it's very elegant, very feminine, uh, complex. Wow, what a what an amazing purchase with this one. Uh, very, very curious to see how the dry down is, but at uh, the first spray, it's amazing. Uh, this one is a perfume that I've been wanting for a while, and this one is the last one that I bought from um, Fragrance Net, and this is this one. Fairy Dust by Paris Hilton. It's supposed to be a really, really nice perfume. And uh, hold on a second. Had to have some of my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Uh, okay, this is the bottle of um, Fairy Dust by Paris Hilton. Very simple bottle, yet very elegant with the little fairy. Yikes! It has a vintage vibe for sure. But wow, is it beautiful. Wow! This is going to be perfect for the fall and winter. More for the fall. I am curious. I am curious to see the notes. Because I'm thinking about something and I'm pulling up my phone. Uh, that is very, very nice. Okay, it's considered to be a white floral. It was launched in 2008, but... Patchouli at the base. That's, that's what I caught on to. Okay, so it has peony orange blossoms in the opening notes. Gardenia, which I could... Yeah, very, very heavy on the gardenia. A little sweetness with the peach, lotus. This is definitely a really well done fragrance by Paris Hilton. And uh, I like it. I'm really going to enjoy this in the fall. Wow, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So this concludes my perfume haul, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you got new. What what's uh, what's interest you and what did you buy uh, when it comes to perfumes lately? Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video uh, a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.